I watched the cooking Cook. video. Yes. Cooking. Very good. What is cooking? It's a frozen TV dinner. That's what it is. That's cooking. And Ew. I put it in the microwave it, okay? with my camera, so you can see it cooking in real time. Oh God. Don't worry. That's not smoke. That's steam. It's totally normal. Yes. <laughs> it's like the kid who microwaved his phone. <coughs> oh god, it's locked. It won't open. Oh god, I can't it breathe! <gasps> Help! Help! Oh. I'm gonna have to break the glass. Okay. Arrow, thanks for the 22 months. I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> raise the blood. I can't raise the blood. His edits are so good. Nine, nine, one. Yes, operate. Oh, fire services. Yes. Come quickly. I'm very hungry. No! Yay. I would like to try, just once, cooking meth. <laughs> I think that looks kind of fun. You know what I mean? You know, it feels like it's got that nice kind of part about cooking where it's like, you don't yeah. have to be exactly right about the recipe. You can kind YouTube of YouTube idea. Oh my god! And nope, then I don't think any of that's true. <laughs> At the a end, YouTube you get exclusive. This glassy thing, and it's like, all right, you don't even have to smoke it. You could just turn it into like a nice vase. Wait, does Breaking if Bad actually show you how to make mess? Well. Like me and the gang. I've never watched There's something it. nice about it. No I think way, it'd be right? cool if we had a cooking show. Binging with Babbage, but it's like it's drugs. Kind Welcome of. Welcome to. Tweaking Wait, did they make real Tony. meth for it? I'm your host, Tweak and Tony. And like week one, it's like no e way. it's the pilot episode, right? So it's like today we're just gonna yeah. be making some classic old-fashioned <laughs> methamphetamine. And it like does a B-roll where it's just like a baking sheet. <laughs> and it's like methamphetamine, like wipes over methamphetamine. <laughs> Here's some I prepared earlier, but if you're gonna do the same, you're gonna need. Just looks this like is my grandmother's recipe. <laughs> you know, she didn't exactly pass it down to me, but I remember watching her make it a lot when we were children. And now I've is had that a lot actually of fun recreating it no, for my mind. new recipe book. <laughs> Tweaking with never mind. recipes to serve thirty to Yo, life. Rosie, thanks for twenty months. But then, like, I don't know what meth it. looks mm. like. So I've never now done we're on, like, meth. Episode six. We've done like meth, cocaine, or crack. Or Googled it. And we've done like a little trendy video where it's like, Google today we're going to be making the meth from Breaking Bad. That's right. <laughs> Everybody yeah. thinks yeah, we've done meth a meth like... We've done uh, opium into just uh, heroin. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and it's like, well, it doesn't look like... like, all right, <laughs> today we're going to explore what to do when you're a little bit tired of cooking, right? Uh, today we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just going to be huffing paint. <laughs> <laughs> Minimal effort. <laughs> No real prep time. You're you on the list, but stop. I'm scared of cops. Seconds. Uh, today we will be drinking just gasoline. Uh, with a spoon. Uh -uh. Now there's no need to preheat this. You can just drink it at room temperature. It's perfectly good. I'm going to step onto my balcony garden. <laughs> Uh, where Yo, Clark, we thanks will for 35 climb months. over to my neighbor's Why? balcony garden. We're going to be uh... using his kitchen today because the <laughs> smell won't dissipate for several weeks. Never mind. <clears throat> and we don't want the police knocking on our door, now do we? And there's like a studio audience applause. Oh, me. This is actually such a brilliant premise for a show. If, I, this would be so much funnier if I knew anything about cooking meth. <laughs> You know what I hate? I thought this was going to be I actually like about cooking. Cookbooks are like so incredibly vain. Yeah, there's some great, you know, what? recipes and stuff for you to make at home, but really it's about my childhood. No, it fucking <laughs> isn't, man. <laughs> and it's really describing a memory around this recipe. Like, I would you know, rather you know have Kevin a cookbook than office? internet recipes. That dude has a cookbook for chili. Yeah. yeah. There recipes are 106 suck. recipes in that book. Mm. And he was like, but... There's some great stories in this book. I promise, there's some great stories. Can you imagine, like, you're trying to get fucking dinner ready for her story, and she's like, oh, yeah, babe, dude, who are, buys are cookbooks and read recipes and quiche, for the like, stories? Yeah, hold on, man. I mean, when he was growing up <laughs> in the Philippines, like, I just got to the bit with his first kiss. <laughs> why, why does it matter that your grandma made it this way? Yeah, no, I don't. I, hate I don't that. give a shit. <laughs> I watch so many YouTube videos where they're like, I don't really like adding this much salt, but that's how my grandma used to make Your mm. grandma's not in your kitchen with a wooden stick ready to hit you on the fucking hands. I want to see a grandma with a Michelin star. 
before I start taking more of this grandma advice. I'm sick of this. They're trying to justify I'm doing sure it stupidly. Mm. They're stars. like, normally you can just crack your hard boiled eggs, you know, a little bit on the side and just peel them off. But I like to just eat them with the shell on. You know, call me crazy, but you know, that's how Gam Gam does it. We were happy. What level of cookery are you at? How much of a, like, if like I gave you a restaurant, cookbook? like, how long would it Wasn't be Wasn't that, like, a book burn? about how to make how bombs and fuck? shit? I've got an, a relative instinct for things. I think in middle school, someone at my school really had that printed out. Like, they printed out on the school I computers. I just don't like instructions very much. And they, like... <laughs> it's the same with, like, Ikea furniture, right? I just want to kind of intuit everything. <laughs> how are you freestyling uh... Ikea furniture? Well, you just sort of, oh, well, this bolt looks about this side. This looks about, like, this nut size so these two must go together and then i well what, okay, what tends to I happen is i go right can i intuit this thing the, the no all right historian i've organized all the pieces neatly <laughs> i i remember when i was down and out back in the day didn't have much money and i had heard you know there's a whole bunch of foods at the supermarket <laughs> that you should really try that people simply overlook but they're great if you don't have any money I'm like, yeah, go on. Yeah. And so they're like dried kidney beans and lentils and stuff. It's like, you know oh, what? Yay. It's true. I do overlook those. Let me give that a try. Sure. So I bought these kidney beans and I thought, you know, I like these. These will be great. Dude, lentils so I, taste I get like these shit. And I'm hungry. And I'm like, right, time for some kidney bean cereal, I guess. This is the most historian story <laughs> ever. <laughs> I hate lentils. If, if you're a viewer of this show and you have watched like the dozens of hours of historian <laughs> describing himself and the wonky shit, this is, this is it. This is like textbook. <laughs> no, hold on. I mean, this story doesn't really go anywhere, but all right. So I'm hungry and I've got I these like kidney beans and they're all dried and hard. So I read the instructions and it says, soak them for 24 hours <laughs> in cold water. Yeah. And I just went, what? What? I'm hungry now. Literally inedible otherwise. Fine. You know, I'll order something. So I, yeah, you know, went and I had some other food. But I, out of the principle of it, I started soaking these beans. Now it's 24 hours later. And I'm like, right, should be good now. I tested one of them, still exactly as hard as they were when they first came out of the bag. And I went, all right, sure. well, Am I something weird that must I have don't happened, like though. beans? I then throw that like pot any of kind water of bean. on I think they're to all boil. Nasty. After an hour, these things are just as hard as when they came out of the bag. Ew. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> so I, I just kept cooking him and kept cooking him and they did not get any softer. After about, you know, however much it f***ing cost me in electricity to run this f***ing stove, I went it. Uber Eats. <laughs> that was the last time I ever tried to eat poor people food. <gasps> My mom is very adamant about not wasting food and also not buying food if you can make it. Right. Uh, which is very frustrating to hear from a woman who's like capable of cooking anything. Mm. So when I take her out to eat, like we'll go and get like fried chicken and she'll be like, I can make this. And I'm like, I know you can make this. Like this is, that's not the point of why we're doing this. And she'll say it to me when I'm on my show, like, you know how to fry chicken. I'm like, I'm not, are Wait, you look, thanks for the joking? 20 months. You have any idea how much of a hassle it is? Yeah. Get half a gallon of fucking oil to fry chicken. The to clean up alone. And then what the fuck am I supposed to do with the oil? And she's just like, oh, you just keep frying stuff. And then once it gets dirty, I'm not going to keep frying shit all week. I'm not going to get the fucking lifespan out of this thing. Are you crazy? Is that what you're supposed to do? I never keep oil and I cook with it. Okay. Okay, I am driving really fast right now because I am super late with this truck full of Nord VPN. Yeah. And Wait, I but like, where do you put crossing it? Crossing the road to use public Wi-Fi at that cafe. You just leave it on the stove. No, look out! I'm going to hit you with the In truck. In a jar. Collision. You can make gravy and with it. When I woke up. With used land. oil. Strange land. Um. So that just happened. Harump! You're the chosen Pour it one. straight down I'm the not drain. Impressed. Come on, Could let's go see the king. That's what gravy king. is. You are the chosen one. No, it's I'm not. I'm skeptical and self-deprecating. I'm not the chosen one. Gravy's I'm not just what? Ordinary Your Lord guy. Sawyer, thanks for the no, five no, gifted. The sacred symbol. What? Oh, I've never made gravy mark. not from like no. a mix. You are 
The very prophesies. It says it's made Dad. from meat juice. I will never learn to love him. With cornstarch. And a two year plan. What? For several bonus months to all seven kingdoms. And finally bring an end to the four months. Whoa, whoa, Dreadnought, Dreadnought. As I always pour my I'm oil evil. down the drain. First, I'm going to have Because then you don't have to buy yes. a drain stopper. Then I'm going to sell your daughter. It's yes, efficient. Dredicus, yes. And then I'll kill your dog. <laughs> Do it, Dredicus. Remove the Office UK from the international Netflix catalog. No matter how much I training montage, I'll never be strong <coughs> enough to fight Dredicus. Something, something, inspiration, inner strength. Oh, okay. Wow, I did it. I believe in myself. Yes, now do it across up to six different devices. You've been training for two years. I don't years, think I've ever used any of the and you are classic uh, YouTube no ad VPN. things. Wait, don't forget this MacGuffin item. Threat like protection. what else is there? There's if like NordVPN. I would manscape. Uh, I, I would totally use that one. Uh, what else? Raid Shack. Yeah, raid. I've never tried Raid. Yep. Skillshare. Whatever next Squarespace. Ever seen, ever I don't know anyone who's tried them either. Raycon? Oh my god. No, actually, I almost bought Raycons because some YouTuber I like did an ad with them. And I was like, oh, they're really good. I'll buy them then. And I saw them like $200 for like wireless earbuds. I was like, never mind. You did it. I was like, well, I, I guess that's how they have so much money Thanks. for ads then. That's why I love you now. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's see who was under that mask all along. <gasps> They're not even good. Daily man? What? Dang. It's a twist. Don't think about it. Instead, just go to nordvpn.com slash incognito to get a two-year plan plus four <laughs> bonus months. It's a right good deal. You're gonna love it. It's the best damn VPN on the market. Add over. Indian chalk milk. You see, lifestyles are not the same throughout the world. What? Where do you get your beverages, <laughs> Mr. What? Historian? I put a cup outside and I wait. All right, but some people in other mm -hmm. countries have to have their drinks made for them. I find that very hard to believe. Okay, well, hopefully you don't find it hard to hit the play button. What do you got? Indian bouncing soda. What? It starts out with a man. Okay, all right, good description. Pouring a... <laughs> Bro's got a man it. Pouring... Okay, so, so there's a man with a bag of milk. It seems as though he's cut a hole in the bottom, and now the liquid is all pouring out into a glass. Wait, are you a milk in a bag country? Because I'm not. I think it's weird. Never put milk in a bag. That yeah. is weird. I don't understand it. Anywhere but a bag. All right, then he takes these little sachets <laughs> Why just milk, of, like, though? chocolate powder mix. Because it's, it's still weird, but it's like, why only milk? Sumito, there's no Like, why don't you have juice Where's in a bag pizzazz? if you're gonna just well, hold on. be stupid and just go This is what I think it is, way. we're about to be impressed. You know? Ah, yep, here we go. Didn't mix it at all, he said. In my wow, opinion. He's good. Okay, I take everything back that I said. <laughs> wow, look at him go. You gotta imagine at least once or twice a day he fucks up and that dude behind him just gets splattered. Mm -hmm. Do you think when he makes himself a soda at home, he's doing the same thing? Oh, absolutely. His wife's pissed off because she's <laughs> asking him to warm up breast milk from the fridge. <laughs> he's over here doing spinny shit. <laughs> she's like, babe. And he's like, sorry, sorry. Just cut off work. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was going to say, I've seen ones where they fucking like bounce it off the ceiling and shit. This guy was just warming up. Ugh. I know it's normal, but the... <laughs> <laughs> the concept of like that putting breast milk in the ceiling. fridge is so the weird. Oh god! First of all, he is dripping I've heard wet. So, oh, wow. I've read so many stories. It's, it's not sweat. It's splashback, like, right? I've read it stories of people stealing breast wife, milk, like really disapproves from like work of fridges. The way he's so flamboyant with the milk, and she's like, wait, "You're just going to serve the milk." Wait, was that a blizzard? You're not going to do this spinny thing. Wait, was that? Wait, I thought that I read that on Reddit. And then he goes Like one of those anonymous stories. His oh, shirt is no. drenched and he smells like sour milk. <laughs> She's like, what have you been oh, doing? No. What have you been doing all day? <laughs> Nothing, I swear. Someone dropped a milk on me. Home it's not, it's oh, not yeah. what you think. Can you imagine what it'd you think be that like they were to come inspired? home like a circus like clown? Like the boys was inspired by <laughs> but your wife's that like story account. from Blizzard. Yeah, she's like, she's like, no more clown. He's like, I promise, I promise. <laughs> it has to be, right? Anyway, and he has to like sneak into the house. <laughs> you gotta just come home wiping the makeup off your Get face. Get rid of all the makeup. <laughs> You're covered yeah. in like cream pie, like whipped cream and like the spray water. It's like knocking on the bathroom door. It smells like remorse in there. What are you doing? <laughs> that, that's what this dude's life is.
No way, they're adding sound effects. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. There's no way no, that's that, real. That, that one's not real. Oh, come on, I can't do any cool tricks. What the hell? Shotgun I do all kinds of cool effect. tricks. Somersaults, uh, headstands. No, oh, I dropped it. No. Do a flip. Certified I, goofball. I can't do a flip. Could I do it? No. Should I do it? Probably yeah, not. Yeah, this video is more like say, a, whoever's making glasses an, an internet in historian Good podcast. Job. I don't think video. I drink it. I I'm thought it was gonna be, be like his wine. No, video. I don't know anything that needs to be shaken that violently. Yeah, I like this. This is a good segment. I also think nuts are disgusting. Beans you know and nuts. Oh! I'm tired <sighs> of in the field. I don't eat what any if of I them. did a worst case scenario? What? They make me want to throw and you were up. trapped in an insane asylum. Loser! You I don't like. Pe I hate peanuts. Pain in your stomach. I don't like. Oh, no. Their pistachios are okay. Black. I don't like it walnuts. I don't like again. pecans. Now you are taken to a very I don't like, uh, serious hospital. There you are. Hey, I don't like that's me from when I had either. my yeah. penis in small mint. <laughs> You're in hospital. Okay. Now there happens to also be another Sunflower guy. Sunflower seeds. No. He is very stressed out. Uh, the CIA is after me, brainwaves. Hey, then? buddy. Rice, okay, man? spaghetti. How did you know my name was Buddy? Hamburgers. I'll kill you. Listen, uh, I'll kill your family. Stressed out. Let me try to put your mind at ease. All right. I don't I'm like pumpkin walls. seeds either. I'm in your walls, man. I'm in your walls. He gives you a smile. He goes, "Well, you know what? You'll be in the walls soon, <laughs> and you don't know what that means." Now, time passes, it's night time now, and you go to sleep. <laughs> sure. But while you're asleep, Buddy sneaks into your room. He goes up to the medical chart at the foot of your bed, and he swaps them. He swaps his chart with your chart. Mr. Schizo. Oh, when you wake up the next morning... How you doing, little fella? How, how are you doing, doctor? Well, you, you gave us a bit of a fright there. Okay, well, we're just gonna put these restraints around you. What? All right, take them away, boys. What does this have to do with? I missed. And then security what this had comes to do with cooking. and takes you to. <gasps> I'm at Hogwarts. It's the Westminster <laughs> Asylum for the clinically insane and especially not good in the head and often dangerous and likes to bite. Okay, I'll, I'll roll with it. <laughs> you are now trapped. <gasps> How well, do you so prove that you are sane and get out? Okay, so your doctor comes Oh, how do you prove that you're sane? Hello. Wait, that's good. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Welcome back. <laughs> back? We're so glad to have you back. It's my first time here. Oh, is that right? Well, we're very <laughs> glad to have you in. Brilliant. Uh, my name's Samet. What's your name? I'm Dr. Incredulous. Wow, I, I can't How would you believe prove that's you your were name. Sane? All right, well, I'll be back with your pills. Brilliant. That sounds and awful. He comes back. Here you go, little fella. Oh, fuck yeah. M&M's. Just take, just take these and you'll be back Eat to yourself in no time. Oh, God, Absolutely. I'm not getting out. And as I reach out my hands to grab the pills, I fucking wrap them around his leg, take him down to the ground, and choke him unconscious with the fucking window curtain. Wow. 16. He is unconscious. Now what? I take his glasses, I take his lab coat, I take a stethoscope, what I throw my shirt happening? on him. All right, it's Dr. Sumito. Okay, so what are you going to do? I step outside of the room and I move into the next door. Doodly doodly do. It's me. I'm going to roll a dice and the first security guard that you walk by i'm gonna see if he falls for any other stuff because you really look just like the patient that was admitted and you definitely don't look like dr incredulous eight you got an eight out of uh -oh. ten this is such a terrible <coughs> idea you would have to roll a 20. i'm a brown guy in a lab coat who the fuck is questioning me all right stop right there criminal scum uh -oh. who are you i quickly glance at his badge what's his name say I'm a security guard working for the hospital. I don't have no names. I'm a I'm a face without a name. I'm a bit well, of a rogue. I don't believe rage that. Strike. Thanks for the I'm stuff. Dr. Incredulous. What's your deal, man? All right, you can have my name. It's 
Les, Les, Les do this. Let's do this. And yeah. I'm ready to I do know. this. I know. Oh, Let's do this. We've met before, don't you recall? Don't tell me you've been sampling some of the pills we've been giving the patients. Listen, <laughs> I've been working here the past five years. Five years, yeah, I know. In fact, uh, Dr. Incredulous is the godfather to my children. Of course. I know what Dr. Incredulous looks like. You think and you I wouldn't are know not little him. Why don't you claim to be a new doctor or something? Why don't you <laughs> claim to be the same one that people see every day? I can't believe this is the roadblock we're bumping into. What's it matter? So listen, I'm going to let you off this time, but I want you to do one thing. Anything less do this. See, the thing is, you're probably still a very dangerous mental patient. And so I need you to do a whole therapy session in order to cure yourself. That's a trap, but sure. Suddenly you're in the uh, therapy office. Yay, Why therapy! Not? Why don't you have a seat over there in the chair? I think it started when my mom's <laughs> standards dropped and she met my father. Oh. Could I ask? I'm a little confused. Why am I in here? What makes me crazy? Well, you know, it's a multi-factor thing. Let us begin with what you are wearing. Next, you attacked an innocent doctor who was merely trying to help you. And third, on your medical chart, it said that you were a paranoid schizophrenic with gingivitis. No, the incurable <laughs> disease. Yeah, so uh, what if I agree to brush my teeth and stop attacking doctors? That, that should cover most of that, no? Wait, do you think brushing your teeth will cure you of your craziness? Go on. I cough, <laughs> and then I lunge at her leg. What the fuck? Strangling her with the window. Don't <laughs> stink. No, not again. No, listen, you've come up with one solution so far, which is not violence again. every time. What do you want me to do? You and I both know I'm not talking my way out of a mental facility, man. <laughs> listen, I want to get better, doctor. I want to get out of here and go see my family and my internet friends that are definitely real. Well, mm -hmm. luckily for you, we just have this brand <coughs> new pop real. quiz that you can take and it will determine if you are crazy or regular. Give me the quiz. Okay, so here's the first test. What do you see? <laughs> okay, I see Kermit the Frog I see a lady busting it down sexual style. Out. He might be a quirked up white boy goaded with the sauce, maybe? Congratulations, that's that's exactly right. Well, you've passed what, number no one, one of three. All right, four, getting out of the insane asylum. This is question two. If three kids can eat three hot dogs in three minutes, how many minutes would it take for 100 kids oh, to shit. eat 100 hot dogs? Oh, uh, shit! Dun, 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 dun. Would you like to phone a friend? Can I Ask the audience. <laughs> or 50 50. Uh, can I phone a friend? We don't actually allow phone calls. Yeah, all right. 100! <laughs> yeah, you want to fucking call? Uh, yeah. Can I call my buddy Sammy, the, the helicopter pilot? That's what we call him. All right. <laughs> Sound gives me anxiety for some I'm reason. In, the, in mental asylum, man. Come the smash in the sound. window and helicopter me out of here. Don't you want to ask me how many kids can eat how many hot dogs? You've only got like 30 seconds left on the clock. It's 100 minutes, man. Just get the helicopter around to That's the backside. That's what I said. They're going to bring me to the padded room. I need you to smash into the side of the building Yo, and get you me out of here. Prime. Bring, maybe bring two helicopters. Okay, <laughs> fine. Let me roll for that. 13. You got a 13. All right, I guess that means that Sam's on his way. Wait, what did you say your answer was again? I'm going to say three minutes. Final answer. <laughs> that is correct. Well, Fuck, I was wrong. Go. Now to Yo, prove whether you are us. definitely nuts or totally normal. Final question. So, if I was to listen up, Sumito. This is not the third question. I need your help. The CIA, they're coming for you. They're, they put a microchip in the back of your head. This was all an elaborate scheme. Oh, no. They're trying to silence it. you, Sumito. They're coming for you. You are the chosen one. Quick, take my gun. It's in my top drawer in my desk. When I say, are you ready for question three? That's when you have to act. Sumito, you have to save the world. Oh, no. All right. So, Sumito. 
Are you ready for question three? Yes, what I... What do you do? I do not get up and go for the fucking top drawer that's obviously fucking laced with nerve gas or something, man. This is too obvious. You can you can see she's holding this smile on her face, but it, she can't, like, hold the muscles for too long. It's becoming a faker and faker smile over time. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, I get up and go to the fucking top drawer and fucking save the world. Oh, no, Sumito, it was a trap. <laughs> the nerve gas releases from out of oh, the drawer. No. Oh, no. What? Looks like you failed the test. This, this was the test the whole time? Who could have fucking guessed? Oh, no. But, wait, you already high-rolled on the Sam the Helicopter Pirate. And so he comes right through the wall. <laughs> The blades cut up the psychology. Got a 13. And she That's not that dead. high. Quick, Holy Sumito, shit! Make He's safe. Escape. What does this have to do with cooking? Thanks for watching. Yeah, I expected a cooking video. I feel extremely let down and upset right now.